Hello and welcome. In this video, we just want to look at how we can go about spinning a Windows 10 virtual machine within VMware ESXi. So I'll quickly log in over here. So that is my username and quickly my password. And then once we're in here, we can go through the process of setting this up. All right, so over here we have a section where we can actually go and figure out various features of particular VM and we've got a navigator over here and if we click on this, we can get more information about that. We can manage the host that we're using for this particular demonstration. And as you can see, I've got some virtual machines here. I've got a couple of them, Windows Server 2022, and I do have another Windows 10 client. So what we simply have to do, let's click on virtual machines over here. And in this section, I have the create or register virtual machine. And remember, this actually requires us to create a virtual machine first and then we can register it if we so need to all right so the first step is we go and click on create and once we have this open we can specify some information over here just click next over here so let's just go ahead and give this vm a name so this is going to be windows 10 vm client 2 all right so let's name it that way and we can come to this section where we have to specify the compatibility i'm going to stay with esxi 6.5 because this is what i'm running at the moment but if you're running something that is actually compatible with previous versions or legacy versions of firmware you might actually need to specify that all right after that i'll also go ahead and specify the guest operating system family this is going to be for windows and you still can specify whether you're running Linux or Mac OS or other operating systems. That's fine. All right. So guest operating system version, if it is going to be running something that you are already familiar with, like the 64 bit of Windows 10, etc., then you can go ahead and do that over here. Now, this is something that I actually did when I was running my Windows Server 2022. And if you scroll down here, you'd realize that it isn't listed. So what I simply did was to stick to the latest available version over here. And in my case, that was Windows Server 26. 16 64 bit that's all i did and it worked just fine all right so i'll leave it on windows 10 64 bit and click on next and in this section we simply have to preview this click on next all right this customization section allows us to actually do even more we can actually play around and increase the number of processors that we have uh, our memory this is already set to 4 gig which is fine however this looks slightly small for me so i'm going to set it on 40 and all right scasi drives etc i'll leave everything as is well for this particular demonstration my windows 10 operating system is an iso image that is on a usb so i simply want to have a usb added not necessarily a controller but a usb device so i have add other devices devices on the far right hand side just below the VM options just click over there and here we have USB device all right so it should be able to detect my USB there we go all right so this is where my operating system is all right if you'd like to add network adapters or additional hard disk you can simply go ahead and do all that kind of stuff and if there is anything you no longer need to have on this particular section then these cross checks over here would simply allow you to eliminate that all right we're satisfied with what we have we're going to click on next and over here we have a short preview of what we've been doing the various settings that we have set and if everything is good then we go and click on finish fine fine so this is basically what we have to do in the first phase now if you've been working with hyper-v like in my case for example you may actually realize that a number of things may have changed in this particular demonstration so once we have done this instead of just starting off firing up this particular virtual machine i'll simply have to go ahead and click on this virtual machine and set it to support efi now efi is very similar to what we see with modern operating system where we have to give some firmware support like uefi in windows 10 etc so for me to do that i'll simply go and click on edit settings and in this section over here i would go and click on vm options now we could have done that previously but i just like doing it this way because it just helps me to actually categorize each and every step that i'm actually going to do in a more broken down manner and also easy to remember so here i have boot options so you simply click over there and you have firmware here the bios is recommended but we simply have to change this to efi once this is done we'll click on save all right and after that we can then go ahead and fire up this particular vm so i'll click on power on and while it is powering on i simply want to have it in a different tab i'll go and click on console and here we can say open console in a new tab so that should actually get us going as far as installing windows 10 using vmware esxi is concerned well i hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and i look forward to seeing you next time